right, let's keep going here. So um, question seven says, select all the expressions that are equivalent to eight to the third times 10 to the sixth. Different bases, so we actually cannot put these two together, but we can kind of go through and see which ones were equivalent. So this first one, we would be doing the power of power, which means we're multiplying our exponents. Our eight would end up being eight to the third because one times three is eight to the third. However, 10 to the third times three would actually be 10 to the ninth. So this is incorrect. We can look at this next one here. If we have five on top and two on the bottom, we'll be able to eliminate a total of two. So we'll be laid, left with eight to the third. If we have 15 on top and we subtract 9, that's going to be 10 to the 6, and that is correct. So this one works. We can go to the next one here. Multiply our 6 in, so it would be 8 to the 6 and 10 to the 6. And then you have 2 on bottom, so you're going to subtract 2, but that does not equal 3, so therefore that's not correct. This one here, we would actually multiply this 2 in, so you'd end up with 8 to the 2 and 10 to the 2. Well, 2 plus 1 is 3, so 8 to the 3rd will become 8 to the 3rd. And then 4 plus 2 is going to be 6, so this one does work. This one here, we will multiply this 3 in, so you have 8 to the 3rd, so our 8 works now. And then you would have 10 to the 15, and then on the bottom you would have 10 to the 9, and that will also equal 6, so that one works. And then this one will become 8 to the 3rd, but then our 10 will become um, uh, 10 to the 6, so this would also work as well. Anyways, that's all. All right, so let's go next. The expression 9 to the 3rd times 9 times to the 5th. Um, written as repeated multiplication has how many nines? And so if we have nine to the times or three times five, that's going to be 15. And then um, 15, and then we would end up having nine to the first times five. So you would have nine to the 15 times nine to the five, which would end up being 20 nines. Okay, let's keep going. So this one, you're going to tell me whether or not n can equal 4. So if we have n is 4, so 7 to the 4th times 2, there's no way that our base is going to change to 8, so this is automatically a no. Negative 5 to the 3rd times negative 5 to the 4th, will that equal 12? The answer is no, because we're not multiplying our exponents, we're adding them. 9 to the 4th over 9 to the 1st, will that equal 19? Or 19 to the 4th over 19 to the 1st, will that equal 19 to the 4th? The answer is no, because we would have to subtract those, right? It would end up 19 to the 3rd. 3 times 4 would end up being 12. 12 to the 2nd it is 144, so this one's correct. And then negative 2 over 5 to the 2nd, well, if you have a parentheses and a negative inside, 2 times 2 will end up being 4. 5 times 5 is 25, so this one is correct. Um, let's do one more, and you'll have to watch the next video. Um, what is the value of the expression? So let's draw my fraction bar, because I see a fraction. And um, let's kind of simplify the bottom part. We have 5 to the 20 on the bottom. We have a total of 5 to the 24 on top. This can simplify down to 5 to the 4, which then in return it can simplify down to 625. Sorry, that's a horrible 625, but you get the idea. And then let's do this one really fast. Uh, which value of n makes the equation true? Well, if it's a negative, um, this is actually supposed to be a plus sign on yours. I changed it. And so if it's a negative and it's switching to the bottom, it's become a positive. That means our answer has to be d. Um, go ahead and give your best shot on the last two. Um, there are going to be extra credit questions on the quiz tomorrow. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.